Hello and welcome again. My name is Jose Libeguirre from Spotfire. And in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to add a script to your analysis so you can cycle through pages without manual intervention. So this is useful when you are trying to try a kind of a slideshow and you want to cycle through the pages without clicking. So here is the implementation. I'm just going to click the start button and it will manually automatically go through each page uh, after a certain amount of time. The details on how this was implemented can be found in this community article. It's called JavaScript Cycles for pay, uh, Cycle Pages for Spotfy, and it's just very easy, just a couple of HTML in a text area, any text area, you don't have to, to put it in each one of them. And then you have this JavaScript basically just copy paste and change some parameters, for example, the pages that you want to look through and the time to wait between cycles. There are some considerations uh, like, for example, uh, just uh, if you're presenting something on a screen and you want to prevent timeouts or uh, uh, log offs, then you have to make some changes in the server side. So ask your admin to do those changes if needed. Uh, in this example, the data is not refreshed, so you might need to tweak the script in order to trigger some Iron Python to refresh the data, uh, whether it's all or incremental. I'm not going to cover that in this video. There's also um, other things to consider. You can, you can um, go through the list, but those are among the most important ones. And there are also some technical considerations. These, uh, this script is, has to be carefully implemented um, when you deal with timeouts in a, in, a, in a spot fire because you can end up triggering a lot of processes. And here's a bit of the technical explanation about that. These and more JavaScript tricks like panels and layouts are here in the JavaScript component hub for, for Spotfire. And you can find them here um, in usability and widgets. There's a whole list of JavaScripts uh, if you want to play with. Okay, let's go back to the JavaScript cycle for Spotfire and let's implement one from scratch. So the very first thing I want to do is copy the HTML and then I'm going to open a new analysis. Let me open my analysis and I'm going to, from the sample analysis when in the recommended section, I'm going to um, just open sales and marketing. Okay, I want to cycle through these pages, consider that there's, a, I want to loop through and so forth. I'm not interested in the intro, only, the, only these three. So I'm going to add a page or any other page. I can put the this JavaScript at the text area, edit the HTML and paste the code right there, save it and I will have a couple of placeholders. Now I'm going to add a script and I'm going to call it cycle. And I always like to put in the description where I got the script from. So I'm going to copy the URL here for further reference and documentation. And then the script, I am just going to copy, paste, and set up the pages that I want to cycle through. Zero is the first page I don't want. I just want one, two, and three. And of course, you can tweak this script, see what's, what it's doing. More technical is storing all the processes when you do the timeout into a global variable. And when you stop the process, it's going to clear the interval for all those interval IDs that were triggered every time um, for some reason if, uh, if it triggers uh, any of the cycles. So let's, hit, let's see how it, how it works. I have it scheduled for 1 and 10 seconds. Let's decrease that for every 3 seconds. And another important consideration is that make sure that you have this number long enough because if you put if it cycles too quickly through the pages, it can you you might not be able to stop it unless you change the logic in the script to to have a limit of iterations. Uh, but there's all other ways to get out of that cycle, and that's by refreshing the browser. Um, by refreshing the browser, you just uh, Control Alt Shift F5 or go to the Tools menu and just refresh the browser. So let's see how it works. It's implemented already. Let's click Start, and now you see it is cycling every three seconds through the pages. 
And that's it. Thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more of these videos.